Every winter, thousands of starlings gather in one of the most spectacular displays in our great British skies. It's called a murmuration, and we're going to head to the RSPB Nature Reserve Ham Wall to see one. But we need to head a few miles over that way. So we've arrived at the RSPB Nature Reserve Ham Wall and it's absolutely stunning. It's full of birds, but we're waiting for starlings. And to be more precise, we're waiting for 750,000 of them. And they're all gonna gather in one big swirling mass in the sky, which we call a murmuration. Now they've all been feeding for the day and because starlings can travel long distances, they could have been up to 20 miles away, which is amazing. And they're all gonna come back together fly in the sky for about an hour and then they're going to roost for the night and we're hopefully going to catch it all on camera. Why starlings form murmurations is still a little bit of a mystery, but we do have two possible reasons. And the first is to avoid predators. Especially here in Ham Moor, you get peregrine falcons and they love a starling for their dinner. But it's really difficult to single out one starling amongst 750,000 when they're swirling and evolving into all these crazy shapes in the sky. So it's safety in numbers. We call it the selfish herd. If you're one amongst many, it's gonna be really difficult for a peregrine to single you out for its dinner. So that's one possible reason why they do it. The other is all about temperature. It's a way of signposting a roost site for the night, calling all other starlings to come to this one location so they can roost together and stay warm. And of course, for a little bird, roosting in large numbers is really going to keep you warm and it's going to help you survive a very cold winter's night. When you see so many starlings in one place, it's really hard to comprehend that they're actually in decline. Their numbers have fallen dramatically by 66% in Britain since the mid-1970s, and they're now red-listed as a species of conservation concern. But why they're declining is still unknown. You see, starlings are highly adaptable birds, but their main source of food are soil invertebrates like worms. So perhaps the problem is in the food chain, Maybe there simply isn't enough food to eat. What is clear is that places like Ham Wall, which are protected and managed by the RSPB, are safe havens for these birds to come back to every winter.